I'm Ashley. And I'm Kirsten. And we're presenting Take Action. Hello. Are you a parent? Is your child experiencing depressive symptoms? Are you worried for their mental health? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, my partner and I will be sharing with you a relatively new therapy program that could potentially help you and your child with their depression. The program is designed to be beneficial to both you and your child by incorporating you into the sessions. This allows for you to be able to continue the steps that are taught in the sessions even after your child has completed the program. Are you watching and unsure if your child meets the criteria for depression? Don't worry, we're here to help. First, you should consult a mental health professional. Disclaimer, do not diagnose based on this video. There are many forms of depression. Some signs to look out for are having a depressed or irritable mood for most of the day, diminished interest or pleasure in activities, significant weight loss or weight gain, fatigue or loss of energy, changes in sleeping patterns, low self-esteem, poor concentration, or thoughts of suicide. Depression can have a large impact on children and adolescents. They can withdraw from social situations and make negative comments about themselves. If there is no treatment for depression, the child or adolescent can have recurrent depression in adulthood. They can experience poor outcome due to their depression and have a poorer quality of life due to longer time spent being depressed. Depression can affect their academic and social lives and decrease their chance to overcome those issues. It can also lead to substance use and the potential problems that can arise from that. Now let's take action. The evidence-based action treatment program was created by Kevin Sturck in 1996. The program was initially aimed towards females ages 9 to 13, but can be modified to help males and older individuals. This program was created to be used in the school setting and is able to help multiple people with this group dynamic. The program has a 20 session component, which includes two fam individual family meetings and eight sessions of parent training. It is important to intervene with the family either through parent training or family therapy. The objectives are to eliminate any abuse or neglect, improve cohesion and supportiveness, decrease conflict, improve communication, and increase the family's involvement in recreational activities. The parents may benefit from learning positive behavior management skills, reducing their use of affection and emotional consequences as their behavioral management strategies. This treatment program is based on the principles of cognitive behavioral therapy. As children develop, they interpret events in the terms of their meetings of the self. If a message about the self is communicated often enough and is accompanied by other learning experiences that communicate the same message, this self-view becomes internalized as a core belief. There are three core beliefs about the self that underlie depression. I am unlovable, I am worthless, and I am helpless. These dysfunctional core beliefs produce a distortion of the child's perception of daily events and in the meanings that the child draws about themselves from those events. These core beliefs are targeted first for restructuring. Families of depressed youth are often characterized by greater chaos, abuse and neglect, conflict, a more critical, punitive, and belittling or shaming parenting style, greater communication difficulties, and a lower activity level. A lack of support and approval from within the family is also seen. This is why it is so important to include those family meetings into the program. We can increase activity levels between parent and child and can hopefully remove any communication difficulties. Your child will meet with a therapist twice a week for 11 weeks. The meetings will last for an hour if your child is 9 or 10 years old. For older students, the meetings will last for an hour and 15 minutes. As a parent, you will meet with a therapist once a week for 8 weeks. In these meetings, the therapist will not disclose information about your child, but instead will teach you about the trainings your child is completing in their sessions. The treatment program is designed to be fun and entertaining, but also is teaching your child the skills they need to overcome their depression. The first session is designed to be a meet and greet for all of the group members and for the therapist. This session is important as it will be the first impression the student receives of the others in the program. The objective of the therapist is to discuss the parameters of the meeting and to introduce the group. This helps establish rationale for the treatment and group goals. In this session, they will discuss confidentiality and build group cohesion. The second session is where the therapist introduces the student to chat time and agenda setting. Chat time is where the students will be able to discuss whatever is on their mind and this builds rapport with everyone. The pramatics are established for completing homework in this session and the take action list is introduced along with the mood meter. What is the take action list you might ask? Well, it is a list that the student comes up with of activities they like to do and that can enhance their mood. For example, they might list things like singing, taking a bath, eating chocolate, and even talking to their parents. Session 3 is where the therapist will introduce various therapeutic components to the students. These will include focusing on the positive, catch the positive diaries, 
aspect of education and coping strategies. Remember, these are all things you can do with your child at home. An easy strategy to use at home is to catch the positive diary entries. It is designed to help the girls catch positive events by helping them self-monitor and record the occurrence of a variety of therapeutically positive events. The diary is used to 1. Activate a child through engagement in fun activities, 2. Redirect the child's attention from negative to positive events, 3. Increase the child's completion of therapeutically relevant activities, and 4. Help the child find evidence that supports new, more adaptive beliefs and that counters negative beliefs. Another easy at-home assignment is the Affective Education Worksheet. The girls identify their emotions by acting like emotion detectives who investigate their own experience of the three Bs, body, brain, and behavior. They are taught greater awareness of their emotional experiences by tuning into how their bodies are reacting, what they are thinking, and how they are behaving. Now we have reached the first family meeting! In this meeting, the therapist works with you and your family to identify your goals for your child, as well as your family. You will also, with your child's permission, go over their own goals for the treatment and their plan for obtaining those goals. You are encouraged to support these goals. There will also be discussion on actions you can take to help your child achieve the goals. Session 4 is where group cohesion is extended. The therapist will review the student's goals and strategies and discuss coping strategies. This is where the goal sheet will come into play. The child will create their own goals and will apply problem-solving skills on ways to obtain their goals. They will also create coping strategies to help when they are feeling a negative emotion. To start, the child will be asked to describe what they felt and what they did. For example, I was feeling sad and nervous, so I tried to take action by listening to music, and then I felt happy. During session five, the coping strategies learned in the previous sessions are practiced and applied. The group creates a list of the problems that others of their age typically face. Then the group goes through the list and determines which problems can be changed and which cannot. For problems that cannot be changed, the therapist asks which coping skill they would use to moderate the impact of such situations. A problem-solving homework form can be completed during the meeting as the therapist and other group members help one of the students work through the steps to develop a plan for implementing them. They can then refer to this form as they implement the plan. Notice that this problem solving worksheet uses the five P's. What's the problem? What's the purpose? What are some plans? Predict and pick the best plan and then pat yourself on the back. In sessions six through nine, the role of cognition and emotion and behavior is demonstrated. They connect their thoughts and their feelings and enact their coping skills through in session activities. The students also apply their problem-solving skills to real-life situations, such as teasing and interpersonal problems. In the second family meeting, therapeutic concepts are reviewed. Together, as a family, you will identify common negative thoughts that your child has. The therapist will then introduce cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is used to understand that the student constructs their thoughts and their thoughts may not be true, and they can change them. The primary objective of con Cognitive restructuring is to help the student build positive core beliefs about themselves. Sessions 10 through 17 are where the student is using and building on the cognitive restructuring skills. They are asked to complete a cognitive restructuring worksheet that creates steps on what is happening in the moment, the negative thoughts they are having, and how they can restructure that thought in a positive way. The use of the self-map is also used in these sessions. The self-map consists of a relatively large circle in the middle of the page with a series of smaller circles surrounding it. Each small circle has a line connecting it to the larger middle circle, and most of the smaller circles have labels such as friend, daughter, student, and so on. The large circle represents the child, and the smaller circles represent the different characteristics the child possesses. The self-map helps the girls to broaden their self-definitions and to recognize more strengths that they, than they previously acknowledged. Sessions 18 and 19 are where the student 
so students are asked to apply all of their learned skills and integrate those skills into their lives. We are also preparing for the child to graduate from the program. The final session is used to say goodbye to everyone and also to their negative thoughts and feelings. The parent sessions are done in eight separate sessions. Parents are taught a number of skills that are designed to remediate possible disturbances in family functioning. The daughters participate in half of the parent meetings. The meetings are structured similarly to the child meetings. However, prior to reviewing the main points from the previous parent meeting, the girls provide the parents with a description of the skills they have learned and then try to teach the parents how to use them. During the first half of the meetings, the parents are taught positive reinforcement and to replace the use of punishment with positive reinforcement. They are also taught the problem-solving skills the students use and are asked to apply them in their home setting. During the second half of the sessions, the parents are taught conflict resolution skills and how to apply them to their home setting. The parents also learn about the impact of negative thinking on their daughter's emotional well-being. They are taught to look at the messages they inadvertently send to their daughter through their own actions and through the things they say. Today we have taught you about the Take Action Treatment Program for Depressed Youth. So now it's up to you to take action against depression in your children. We have given you information on one possible treatment program to assist you in the battle with your child's depression. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our video on the amazing program that is Take Action. We can edit it out of it, but then you. Oh. Okay. Are we sitting or standing? Well, I think if we write on the thing, we're gonna have to sit. I don't think so we're can. gonna need it right. I mean, we can sit, and then just whenever we need to write, we can. Because if we can edit it on here, hello. child experiencing depressive symptoms? Are you worried for their mental health? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, my partner and I will be sharing. <laughs> we'll look into any of the steps that are taught in the sessions even after your child has completed the program. Are you watching and unsure if your child meets the criteria for depression? Don't worry! We are here to help. First, you should consult a mental health professional. Disclaimer, do not diagnose based on this video. <laughs> your child experiencing depressive symptoms? Are you worried for their mental health? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, my partner and I will be sharing with you a relatively new program. <laughs> Depression can have a large impact on children and adolescents. They can withdraw from social situations and make negative comments about them. <laughs> Now let's take action. The evidence-based action treatment program was created by Kevin Stark in 1996. The program was initially aimed toward females aged 9 through 13, but can be modified to help males and other individuals. Nope. The program has a 20 session component that includes two individual family meetings. Dang it! <laughs> Your child will meet with a therapist twice a week for 11 weeks. The meetings will last for an hour if your child is 9 or 10 years old. For the older students, the meetings, that doesn't make any sense. Your child will meet with a therapist twice a week for 11 weeks. The meetings will last for an hour if your child is 9 or 10 years old. <laughs> In the second family meeting, therapeutic concepts. <laughs> In the second family meeting. <laughs> In the second family meeting, therapy. <laughs>
In the second family meeting, <laughs> in the second family meeting, 